cinch up your seat belts at home on the sofa. It's going to be a good one here in the final three laps. What they were talking about with Tony was to make sure that you know, he, when he goes to hit the gas right here in just a second, that his uh, carburetor responds and he can get a good run to, to start this. Green flag waves. Greg Biffle right glued to the rear of Dale Earnhardt Jr. How long do you wait? How long does Earnhardt Jr. wait and where does he make that move? Yeah, I think now with this situation with the going just going back green, as soon as Junior can feel that push and get that opportunity, I think that he goes. So he's gonna take the first opportunity, like you said, with that momentum. And you see these guys bump drafting down the straightaway. Entering turn three, they will come out of turn four. Remember the start finish line is all the way down in turn one. As they come down this time, it will be the white flag. Tony Stewart now pulls him by two car lanes. Yeah, but normally Junior had been staying right on Tony's bumper, but he knows he's got to get back and get get that help from behind to get that run at this point. And that's what he's done is back off there a little bit white to get right Greg Biffle on his bumper to get that push. He should have enough momentum to get beside the 20 car by the time they get to the back stretch. He's backed off to get some help in the draft, but they're now scattering too wide behind him. Here he comes at a turn two. Did he get enough momentum? Can he get enough momentum? Here they come. Here he comes on the outside. Listen to this crowd as Dale Earnhardt Jr. runs door to door with Tony Stewart. Can he stay there? Well, they both got help now, so that didn't work in Junior's favor. Check out left on the outside. They are clear. They were three wide. Now they're four wide. Line. Back to eighth position. Start finish line is all the way down in turn one. Will they have a shot? Tony Stewart trying to hold on. David Stremme trying to stay in second spot. Here they come. Boys, we want to Talladega. Stewart takes the win at Talladega for the very first time in his career. Boy, Tony Stewart had a strong race car. Boy, he had a strong car. And Junior made the move and, and had the momentum. But as soon as he got out there, Biffle jumped away from him, and he didn't have that, uh, didn't have the push anymore. Yeah, I really felt like Biffle was going to decide who was going to be the winner there, and he didn't go with Junior when, it, when Junior thought he was, and uh, kind of gave it to Tony. Great job with this 20 thing. Yeah, Mike standing by with crew chief uh, Dave Rogers. And for the second straight week, Dave Rogers, crew chief's a winning race car. But, man, that was close. What were you thinking when Junior pulled up alongside and really put his nose out front? Uh, here we go. <laughs> uh, you know, it, you want to be leading, but it's tough to be leading. Uh, you know they're going to gang up on you. Uh, you got to take a minute to let my heart settle down here a little bit. Uh, hey, I want to thank Mark Ronquist back at the shop, TRD Motors. You know, Mark Mark's building these TRD Motors for us. and. They got a lot of power. Uh, Mike Bright, Reggie Tucker, all them guys have built this body. It was actually built for Talladega, and it was so fast we brought it to Daytona, and uh, we've won both of them. So uh, thanks to all the guys. It's a fast race car. That's why we're here. Great at restrictor play track so far this year, but you see the burnout down there in front of you. You know this is Tony's first win here in Talladega. How, how big is this for you and for this team, and especially your driver, his first win here? Uh, that motor is junk right now because he's killing the rev chip, but uh, it's really big. You know, Tony and I and Zippy work together for a lot of years, and anytime we get Tony in the car and we can have success with him, it's special. But to come here at Talladega, it's the first time that the uh, car from the front row won. It's the first time Tony won. Uh, it's another two in a row for us, so I don't know. Uh, it, it's, it's special. I don't know how to tell you. Well, Doc, the streak for Kyle Busch has come to an end, but the Joe Gibbs racing streak continues. It took Tony Stewart 24 races, 18 in cup, and now six in nationwide series competition to finally get a win at Talladega. You don't think he's enjoying that right now, waving to the fans, and the fans approve it because they realize Tony Stewart drove one heck of a race. He really did, Doc, and it was a great team effort. This is a great race team right here. They've done such a great job all year long. Capped it off with a win at Talladega.